Hello, my name is Adrian Richards and I'm the Surgical Director of Aurora Clinics. And today I'm going to be talking a little bit about skin lesions and the different types of skin lesions. Um, well, essentially, uh, all of us um, have some moles and the average number of uh, moles an individual has is approximately seven. Um, uh, and moles and skin lesions can come in all sorts of different forms. But the essential, um, uh, the two main groups are either non-malignant, which is the vast majority of lesions, or cancerous uh, lesions. So if I first deal with the um, non-cancerous uh, lesions, the majority of these are moles. So when we're sort of in our teens, early 20s, we tend to get flat brown uh, moles. And as we get slightly older, we get more domed moles. So these sort of almost look like little pearls uh, in the skin, and they tend to sort of slowly grow with size size and these are called intradermal nevi which are basically slightly deeper moles. So the most common type of uh, non-cancerous uh, skin conditions are moles, either pigmented brown flat moles or nodular moles and then as we get slightly older we can get sunspots, an area of thickened skin um, which are called seborrheic keratosis or areas of sun damaged skin which are called actinic uh, keratosis. So there's a number of different types of um, um, uh, benign skin uh, lesions um, and all of these um, can be removed um, relatively simply under local anaesthetic and often it's quite a good idea to uh, come and have a consultation just to talk about uh, the best way of removing these because it's easier to remove them when they're smaller uh, and obviously this leaves less scarring. Um, the other main group is the cancerous or precancerous um, skin conditions and I will talk about these in a, uh, another video. But essentially if you're worried about any um, mole you need to come in and see us um, or see a specialist. And the main um, uh, real uh, symptoms of concern are change and these are the four main things. Change in colour, so this is pigmentation becoming darker uh, normally. Change in surface, so if it uh, was a flat um, uh, mole and it's become more irritated and, and raised. Um, change in the size, so that's the contour, you know, has it changed size, size, has it grown, grown in one um, and direction. And the other uh, uh, main change is symptoms, so if it suddenly starts itching or um, you feel it's slightly different. So if you've got a long-standing mole that does any of these characteristics, it changes in any way normally best to come in and just get it checked out because again if it is a skin cancer or an early skin cancer if we can get at the uh, mole early and remove it before it has time to spread you know that's that's best for everybody so i hope that's um, made some sense obviously there's a vast number of uh, different types of skin lesions but the, the majority are benign so be reassured the majority are completely non-cancerous uh, and can be dealt with relatively simply so thank you for listening to this video. If you'd like uh, to make a consultation with any of our surgeons to have your uh, skin uh, assessed and to talk about possibly removing any moles, uh, please uh, let us know, either by phoning us on 01844 214362 or emailing us uh, via the Aurora Clinics website, which is aurora, A-U-R-O-R-A hyphen clinics.co.uk. Um, or again, or phoning us. So thanks very much for listening and I hope you enjoyed the video.